I had recently got my hair straight and my ponytail kind of coming through. <sighs> if y'all know, I did my big top or whatever. What's up, guys? My name is Michaela, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, hello, hello. Join the game. <laughs> if you don't know me, and if you haven't like been subscribed to my other YouTube channel, then you may not know that I own a business. There we go. I own an e-commerce business called K Royal Couture. Um, I do custom T-shirts, party shirts. It's just the whole galore. So I think what I wanted to come and do today is kind of do like, I guess the pros and cons of like owning a business or you know, the downside of owning a business as well. Because everyone talks about like the pros of owning a business, but no one really tells you the negative part of owning a business. At least for me, when I first started my business, I have a sports bra on y'all by the way. So don't think I'm naked. When I first started my business, everyone who I was asking gave me positive, 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 positive being, oh, you're going to make so much money. Um, you get to do what you want. It's like your own boss. You know, you're going to be so happy. You're going to get to meet people and then you're going to do this. You're going to do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, none of that. So, I'm here to talk about the negative aspects. Because I'm pretty sure we all know the positive aspects of owning a business. So, I wrote down some notes on my laptop. And let's start with um making sure you do it legally. So, I know a few people who own businesses and they did the instagram the facebook social media got a website but that's it like they don't have any um llc um whatever all the other businesses fancy names is so me personally for my business i got a sole proprietorship a sole proprietorship which is what i have is for a business with one owner and it's not registered as a corporation a partnership or a llc so basically um you're just like an independent person you're the only one who owns the business you don't have 50 million people working for you yeah that's what i got and i also got a dba which is a doing business as so um <clears throat> The business is under my name, but my name will always be associated with it. So, like, if K-Royal Couture ever pops up somewhere, legal issues or whatever, I have a DBA. So, it's like, yes, K-Royal Couture is my business. I, I keep looking because I'm looking here, but I'm looking at the camera because I feel like I should be looking at the camera. I'm filming off of my uh, phone because my freaking camera is still not fixed. But, yeah. So... If you're thinking about um starting a business, you need to make sure you have it done legally correct. You don't want to be having your business and then you make, you know, thousands of dollars and then something happens along the way and your business is not legally backed up and you're screwed. That's first. Mm -hmm. Second thing, I would say no one tells you about is money money all caps m o n e y when i first started my business um i had just recently lost my job around like august september 18th i didn't have a job so um i was like okay 
I got time. I'm gonna start on my business, so I'm researching, I'm doing this. The first time I started my business, my business was actually um, a clothing boutique. I mean, it's still a boutique, technically. But it was like a, um, like I was having clothes, like rumpers, t-shirts, dresses, and I was selling that. Something like that, right? I had to, you know, I was trying to find like, you know, I had got like these vendor lists that was BS. Um, I did all that. I got tried to go through the vendors and I tried to talk to them, get some sample pieces and all that. And the communication was just horrible. So I just had to go my own route and um, just go my own route. Go on my own road and try to do it myself. So that costed money. The first time I invested in my business, it costed me basically around like $600. Cause I had to get all the pieces. Then I had to get um, the DBA. That was like a hundred some dollars. And then I had to go get it um. To go to someone i forgot i forgot the term for it but it's like i had to go to this place and get like a, a little seal on it to like i can't think of a damn word but i had to do that that cost me money I had to get business cards that cost me money i had to get a website that costed me money monthly i had to get a domain for my website that cost me yearly but i had to put money first what else did i have to get I don't remember, but it was a lot. Like, like money was just money, 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 money. This, 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 this. I was like, dang. So, yes, money. Um, if I could have, I really did go out on the limb. Like, I started my business. Like, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it. Period. Cause I've been said I was gonna do it. Now I don't have a job, so I need to do it. And I honestly, I did go at it the wrong way. I had the right intentions, but I think I went at it the wrong way. Like, I should have just waited a little bit for a refund check or something. Lord. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I did. Money. Money is important. So, number three, I would say is, um, number three would be to me, finding your niche and what you want to do for your business. That is a downside of being a business owner. Because when I first started my business, I thought, I was like, boom, I'm going to sell clothes. I'm going to do this, rumpers, jumpers, yes, yes, no. <laughs> like, honestly, um, when it comes to selling clothes, right, you have to find a vendor, unless you make the clothes, to get the clothes from. You have to pay that vendor, and then, of course, you have to up your price to make a profit off of what you're selling. And to me, I'm a cheap person. And when I say cheap, I don't mean like, oh, I don't wanna invest in my business. Not that kind of cheap. But when I say cheap, I mean, when I go in a store and if I see a shirt and it's $25, unless it's like a custom, fancy, pretty shirt, I won't buy it. Period. Like, I'm the type of person where sometimes I'll spend a little bit of money on, you know, certain things. But, like, for example, Target. I went to Target, and they had a cute little cardigan I liked. The cardigan was $40. I'm not paying $40 for a cardigan when I could probably go somewhere else and get it for at least, like, 20 So, that's what I mean by I'm cheap. So knowing how I am, I put that same effort in my business because I'm like, okay, I don't want to upcharge too much, but then again, I need to make my profit. And then the vendor is charging me this much. And even though that's high, I still got to like charge at least double that so I can at least make my money back. It's just a lot. So you have to know exactly kind of what you want to do. So you're not really wasting your time and kind of, you know, yeah so the fourth thing would be um slow times i did four then day five but the fourth thing for me to be for me would be slow times so like the first time i opened my business 
the very first time before I relaunched and it was great. Um, slow times. Like, I think in my head, I thought, oh, I'm going to open my business. People going to buy it. It's going to be booming. That's it. No, it was not like that. Um, it took me like at least a month to get a sale. And then even before I relaunched, I honestly, I don't, I can't think I can count on like two hands how many times something got purchased from that website. So sometimes it's, it's going to be slow. Sometimes you're going to, um, you won't. You won't just get sales. You won't. Even when I relaunched, my relaunch month, booming. The first day of my relaunch, I got like seven orders. Second day, two orders. Third day, two orders. Fourth day, one order. Like I was constantly, it was steady. But then that second month, it was maybe like four orders, like that whole month. Don't get me wrong, people were buying a lot of stuff like... I think the most order I had from someone for my relaunch was like $80. And I sell my t-shirts and my t-shirts range from like 10 to $18. But I also have hoodies too. And my hoodies base price started 21. So people were buying a lot of stuff. And then towards the end, before I decided that I was gonna relaunch again, it was slow. So you will have times where it's like slow. Your business is not going to be boom right off the bat. It won't. Now, if you market right, of course, your first month will be good. But you still will have times where business is like boom, 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 boom. Then even it might just go down and you might not get any sales for like two weeks. Like you really never know. Um, so yeah, that would be the fourth thing for me. Then I would say the fifth thing is, the fifth thing for me would be make sure you research everything. Like, you literally have to research everything. That wasn't a problem for me. I didn't mind putting in the time, doing the research. But you literally, I'm saying say it again, you have to research everything. You have to research who you want to get vendors from. You have to research the background on the vendors to make sure, you know, they do it in a timely manner. You have to research uh, website options. You have to research shipping costs. You have to research this. You have to research that. You have to put in the time and do the research. I'm sorry, I'm in my kitchen. I think my refrigerator is like, I don't know. But yeah research like for example with my shipping prices when i first started my uh business i was like jipping myself with the shipping prices because i was like charging less for shipping but at the end of the day i had to realize that the shipping is not going in my pocket if you order as a small business owner i think one thing that we do is we try so hard to put ourselves in other people's shoes and try to accommodate them to the best of our abilities because we're a small business, but we can't, like we can't do that. You have to think, okay, you wanna charge cheap, but at the end of the day, you got people who go to Fashion Nova and spend nine, eight, ten dollars on shipping and $45 on one piece of clothing. So sometimes you have to put yourself in that, you have to know your worth, basically. You have to know how much your business is worth. You have to know that you need to be charging for your time with tax, period. And even like on my relaunch, I wasn't charging taxes, but this time I am. And that's a separate thing too, knowing your worth for your business. Mm -hmm. So the next thing would be, is making sure you find the best website. So since I've had my business, I've used three different e-commerce platforms. I first started off with Big Cartel. Why? It was a cheaper option. I was already splurging money here and there. A downside for me for Big Cartel was it was no room to do anything. Like I couldn't really edit it the way I wanted. My hands ashy. <laughs> I couldn't really edit it 
the website how I wanted to do it. I couldn't really, like, I couldn't do anything. Like, I just couldn't. And then, um, I don't know. Big Cartel is good for starting and starting only. Now, if you got a big business and you own Big Cartel, you must know how to do coding and all that. That's perfect for you. It wasn't good for me. Then when I relaunched, I used Squarespace. I did like Squarespace. Oh, also I tried to use Wix. So technically I didn't even try everything. Before I relaunched, before I went to Squarespace, I tried Wix. And Wix for me, it was a decent price, but my thing with Wix was, I was, you know, I designed it all. And then when it was time for me to um pay for it, after I designed it, I then realized that it was certain like apps I had in my website and that within itself, some of them had monthly fees or like yearly fees. And I was like, so I gotta pay a monthly fee for the website and then I gotta pay monthly or yearly fees for the, the apps and inserts. I was like, it's a no for me. I did love though the versatility of Wix, but it just wasn't worth the money. Then I did Squarespace and now I'm on Shopify and so far, I, I really do like Shopify. Um, yeah. So the also next thing would be creativity. And like, sometimes you just, you just won't, you don't know what to do. Like, so when it comes to creativity, you have to design, unless you got money and you know, you paying people to do this. Kudos to you if you are, but um, Designing the website. I had to design the website. I had to find creativity in the website. I had to design the website is hard. It's easy sometimes, but in the end, like sitting there in your mind looking at this ugly blank screen and you like, okay, I have a vision and you trying to put your vision to life. It's hard. Designing the website was the hardest part for me, like trying to get it how I wanted it to look. Then you have to design. I personally, again, if you pay somebody to do that, kudos to you. I had to design the content for my social media. That was hard. It wasn't hard. Well, it was kind of hard. It wasn't hard than like, I'm gonna just throw some words, you know, I just gotta type some words, you know, do this, do that, get some color schemes. It was hard as in it was like, sometimes I just literally didn't know what to do like i wanted it to look cute i don't know what to type i don't know what to write but yeah designing the content for your social media and then of course you have to do the business cards and then the business cards was fun but it wasn't that hard to do the business cards but um i want to redo my business cards and i think whenever i do relaunch that is something i'm going to also invest in is my business cards again the first ones were good, but the color scheme is no longer my color scheme. <laughs> and I don't know, that's not even my logo anymore. Like it's from like way, way back. So yeah, the next thing that I personally thought was a downside was constantly having to post on social media to stay relevant. I'm the type of person where I barely post on my Instagram. Sometimes I go like a month or two without posting on my Instagram. So for me, that was a hard thing. They do have, you know, apps that post it for you, but I did find a free app, but I think eventually like after so many posts, I had to pay for it. So yeah, cause it say you're supposed to post at least one to two, well, at least two to three, one for sure, Lord two to three times a day on your business page. And that was kind of hard for me. Um, I'm a senior in college. I was taking my higher level classes. I was constantly trying to post, constantly trying to remember this. It was it was just a lot, but it's just about prioritizing. Um, yeah, setting reminders for yourself, maybe that'll help. Again, money. <laughs> I literally put it on here twice because money, like, you need money. Now, they do have, like, um, 
small business grants and stuff like that. I tried to research some of them, but the ones that I kept finding what they wanted just didn't match what my business was. So certain businesses, you may be able to find a grant for what you're trying to do. So that goes back into researching um if you do not really have a lot of money maybe just research your options i wouldn't go as far as say as go get a loan i just can't see myself going to get a loan you better go work at mcdonald's for like a month or something don't get no loan i wouldn't got enough damn student loans up in my name um <laughs> and then the next thing would be failing when I started off, failure was never in the back of my mind. I never thought to realize that maybe this just won't work. Maybe people just won't buy my stuff. Maybe I'm gonna lose money that I invested. You will. People won't sometimes buy. You will fail and it's okay if you fail. I failed. And failing as a business owner just helps you know what to do next time. So when it comes, it's like, okay, I know what I did wrong the first time, but I know what I'm gonna do now. And I think that what it was for me, when that's what it was for me when I first had my business. I failed, period. The first time I came out, I failed. I failed, like money was wasted. I was just like, like I failed horribly. And the next go around, it was like, okay, I knew what to do. I know that I did that, but I should have did this. I did this and this didn't work, so let me try that. So if you fail, that's okay. Just <laughs> dust yourself off. No better for next time. Um, and then the next thing, and the very last thing on my list is um, learning as you go. You will literally never know everything about owning a business. You're always going to be learning new stuff. You're always going to be learning what works for you, what doesn't work for your business, um, what should you do, what shouldn't you do. You're never just going to... And you're not gonna learn it overnight either. It takes time. Even owning a business, like say if you own a business right now, I'm pretty sure like sometimes every day or even every week or at least every month, you learn something new. It's like, oh, okay, maybe I should do this. Like for example, um, and honestly, if you follow enough people who have business, they have a lot of businesses out there or like people in general, who like give you, who post a lot of tips about businesses. Or like, for example, uh, I followed the real BB Judy. She posts a lot of stuff about businesses and what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing and what could you be doing. So like, for example, sometimes you should have sales when holidays come. Easter sales, um, back to school sales, like, you know, out of season sales like stuff like that sometimes it's good to just put that out there if you get what i'm saying but yeah i mean that's pretty much um all the notes i have but to me off of my opinion and off of what i have learned this year last year and a half of owning a business is those things and being a successful business owner will not happen overnight. It won't happen over a course of a year. Sometimes it may, sometimes it won't. If it did, congratulations to you. But if it didn't and you're watching this, I'm here with you. Um, it doesn't happen overnight. It definitely takes time. You definitely have to put in the effort. You definitely have to, you just have to, you have to do everything. Um, literally everything so 
I think that's pretty much it for this video. I was just literally sitting here actually doing stuff for my business now. And I was like, man, it's a lot of downsides that people don't talk about. So I just wanted to come and give you guys my point of view. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe. And if, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want more videos about like business and steps to take to open a business, stuff like that. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Represent, gotta represent, chase a chick, never chase a